Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer. Welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling, the channel dedicated to wrestling video games fueled by my love, passion, and obsession for these games. I am playing Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, bringing you a Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 call, following my WWF No Mercy call of the artist, the king of strong style, the recent Royal Rumble winner, I can't believe I'm saying that, Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm still... I'm still Still getting over the fact that Nakamura won the Royal Rumble. Rumble, very exciting time. So I had to make him in No Mercy. I had to make him in Virtual Pro Wrestling too. And I hope you enjoy this call. I'm gonna go over the appearance first, and then show off his move set a little bit. But everything else, his parameters, his logic, everything else, his all the moves are gonna be typed out in a Google spreadsheet that you can find in the description below. I put a link to it down there, so make sure you check that link for the full call. But first, I'm just gonna get into the appearance. The appearances are pretty much the same as in No Mercy, with a few little differences. His head, I changed his head actually, because the smaller head looks better in Virtual Wrestling 2. His face is different. In No Mercy, I actually used Sakuraba's face, but here, I have Ogawa's face to use. And then his hair, so you can see, I'm going to show you the difference between the shaved hairstyle and then the regular long ha hairstyle or the medium hairstyle, I should say, which is what I used in No Mercy. But here I use the shaved hairstyle, which is like Chono's hairstyle, I would say. And they didn't have it in No Mercy. They have it in WrestleMania 2000 and in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, but not in No Mercy. But I think it fits perfectly here for Nakamura. And then for body type, I kept him skinny. If you're going to make like an earlier Nakamura, you can make him a little bit bulkier. But I don't think it looks right on the Nakamura, you know, style that I'm going for. And for, you know, skin tone, the second skin tone, his tights, D23. Now, you, you can't change the color of the belt. You can only change the color of the pants. I use different leather pants that are only available in No Mercy. Uh, but these work just fine. These are different types of wristbands as well. Um, just make them red, same thing like in No Mercy. And here, so here I did a little thing where I put the knee pads over the leather pants and they're not actually full knee pads, but I think the front looks works very well and it mix, it, it blends in very well. You can't do that in No Mercy. You can't put the knee pads over the leather pants. And you know, Nakamura, he wears these interesting pants that look like the, the knee pads are over them sometimes or sometimes they're built in. I don't know, it's hard to say. He's got a very cool looking uh, outfit so I did my best to recreate it his second outfit same thing like in No Mercy just changed the wristbands to black here also just changed his leather pants to black uh, you can put a default to get more of that black leather look and then knee pads are black and that's default as well wristband I kept it red uh, just for a little variety and then for his kick pads just make them all black as well. Very simple. Nakamura is pretty simple to make. Not many altercations. I was trying to make like an earlier Nakamura. Like, you know, pre-IWGP Intercontinental Champion Nakamura. You know, early, uh, mid-2000s Nakamura. But I wasn't feeling the vibe on how it looked for the last attire here. All I did was change the wristbands as well. But you can definitely try to give him an older look, older style look. But I went with the Nakamura we all know and love. So I hope you like this. That's it for the appearance. Again, very simple. Check in the description below for the full call all typed out for you. And as always, when I make these Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 calls or No Mercy calls, WrestleMania 2000, I always like to follow up with a match. When I did him in No Mercy, I had him face AJ Styles. I'm, of course, always playing with them. But I had him go against AJ Styles. And that match went really well. I was going to do Nakamura against Takayama. But you know what? I was like, we got the Tokyo Dome ramp. I have an AJ Styles call in Virtual Wrestling 2 as well. So let's do it. Let's do Nakamura and AJ Styles again in the Tokyo Dome back in Japan where it all started. We're getting it again in WrestleMania. It's going to be the sequel to one of the best matches in the past few years, I think. Uh, considering the fact these guys only met once in the ring in a one-on-one -on -one match. They did previously square off in a tag match, but... That doesn't count. 
<laughs> we never count those tag matches when it's one on one when it's at a big event like this like the Tokyo Dome that's where we really take everything into account and the magic and here we go here's Nakamura coming this is so cool because like I don't know I, I think the call came out pretty good you tell me if the call came out pretty good but you know while he's coming out on the Tokyo Dome ramp I just got subconscious playing you know in my mind so imagine if you will he's coming out and it's that's the best I could do with that but you know play it go get the mp3 play it download it play it while he comes out I'm sure it'll work really well I'm sure there's mods where you can play the actual music as he's coming out there are actually some sweet virtual pro wrestling 2 mods that have really cool looking nakamuras obviously they can do a lot more with the face and the costumes and all the hacks they can do uh, I haven't gotten to that level yet. I haven't figured out a way to get the mods working properly on my Mac because they're so PC centric. But maybe one day I'll bring those mods to my channel so I can make a lot of the more recent New Japan and All Japan and NOAA uh, wrestlers and put them in the game. So with Nakamura, again, I'm basing him off of later style Nakamura and you can make any changes you want. You can make any changes you want. As as I always say, when, when I make these calls, it's never like, this is how you must do it. This is just how I did it, and you can use it as sort of like a reference, as like a based guide. And I went for later style Nakamura, but the cool thing about Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 that's not present in WWF No Mercy, and you're going to see me use it later on in the match, is you can change the different style of wrestling uh, the wrestlers use you can have regular wrestling style or you can have martial arts or mixed martial arts and what that does is that basically changes uh, the strong grappling system so I chose for Nakamura he's a martial artist uh, artist I should say and what that does is if you've played WCW and W Revenge and you've played as Goldberg uh, or Glacier or you know or certain characters Yuji Nagata when you do your strong grapple and you press B Instead of doing a strong grapple move, you'll do these striking combinations and there'll be different punches and kicks and you can recreate that here in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. You can make a creative wrestler just like that. And if you do mixed martial arts, it's a whole nother grappling system that's really more similar to what you see in MMA. And I'm, if you check out my some of my Let's Plays with some of the MMA wrestlers, you'll see that in action. But I think that's really cool because with Nakamura, you know, he does a lot of strikes. And it's hard making people, I mean Nakamura has been around since almost the early 2000s. I believe he debuted in 2003, 2003-ish I believe. And he, he rose to the top quickly in New Japan. He was the youngest IWGP heavyweight champion, I believe winning the belt when he was only 23 years old, which is crazy to think about. Uh, they had so much faith in him, obviously trained by Antonio Inoki. And Inoki really wanted to transform New Japan into more of a, a shoot, a, you know, a shoot fight promotion. And it didn't really work. And it was really, you know, it was a lot of years after, you know, the Keiji Mudo era, the Chono era, that New Japan just kind of treaded water. But during that time, Nakamura, Tanahashi, Shibata, and a bunch of other guys uh, started coming up and started slowly bringing New Japan back to prominence. You know, Nakamura really was part of that group uh, along with Tanahashi that helped bring New Japan back to what it is now. You know, and when Nakamura left, uh, he left at pretty much the height, I think, of what he had done in New Japan to go to WWE. And here we go with the striking combinations. Give him the kicks, give him the knees, give him an insiguri at the end. It's really cool to do. And then also, I'm going to show you off here. So, in No Mercy, I gave him his, for his front special... I gave him the flipping arm bar because that's what he used to finish with back in the day and now he does it more as like a signature move but with no mercy you know I felt like that was the best one just to keep as his front special you can also give him I would think the kicking combinations or the big knee and here I'm gonna show you I'm activating the super special and I'm gonna do a kicking combination now there's two different kicking combinations and the one I really want to do, I haven't unlocked yet because <laughs> I still haven't unlocked all the characters in the game. But you just saw the, the, the second kicking combination. But the actual kicking combination that's in No Mercy as well, uh, I have to unlock Akira Mita. And I haven't gotten that far yet. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm a little bit behind 
I have to unlock him, Carolyn, and Hicks and Gracie. So, um, but once I unlock it, I'll just replace it. But for the purpose of this video, video, I just gave him that kicking combination. Honestly, any kicking combination works. It's your own personal preference. And again, if maybe you want to give him the kicking combination as his regular special first, and then giving him the flipping armbar as his super special, or maybe giving him the super special, the big knee, whatever you want to do. You know, basically with Nakamura, what I try to do was I tried to just make a lot of moves based around his kicks and his running knee strikes. And, you know, he's limited with his strong grapples now because he has the the martial arts combination moves, but it could be a little tricky sometimes to use those because especially if you're playing against the computer on hard, which is what I'm doing, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, uh, they can block a lot of those moves. So sometimes it's not good if you want to fill your special meter with those moves but it just it looks cool too as you saw before here we go AJ Styles getting the comeback the no mercy match was a classic an instant classic and AJ Styles he doesn't want to disappoint again he's fighting back I gave him a super special now he won't go down I was trying I'm trying to you know stall out the match a little bit to show a lot of the different moves that I put for Nakamura and the downside to that is that the AI is really good in virtual pro wrestling too. <laughs> so they're always going to mount a comeback. And I'm in, always in danger of losing these matches. Uh, you know, 18 years later, we just passed the 18 year anniversary of virtual pro wrestling 2 in January. 18 years later, I still get a challenge out of playing virtual pro wrestling 2. I've put in thousands and thousands of hours into this game and still I have to make sure I'm trying to play at my best when I play against the computer uh, because they they don't sleep on you man they 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 give it your all every single time and when I make my created wrestlers especially I try to I try to make them a little bit more powerful than normal just because it, I, I think it just helps to give him an extra challenge he's going for the 450 here isn't he yes he is going for a taunt to put the knees up oh my god the counters in this match are crazy it's a little prelude what's gonna happen at Wrestlemania I still can't believe that we're gonna see Styles and Nakamura at Wrestlemania I mean if you've been following New Japan for a few years obviously you know they had that big match at Wrestle Kingdom but it was right before they left right before it was their both it wasn't their last matches but it was their last big match before they left New Japan and within a month uh, you know in a half and pretty much they'd both be gone along with Anderson and Gallows and Now they're in WWE and for Nakamura to win the rumble. I mean, that's huge. That's huge considering You know the history WWE has with the Japanese wrestlers and you know not really utilizing them when they get them and you know a lot of big Japanese stars never really made the crossover to mainstream because they knew that if they went to WWE they probably you know wouldn't get anywhere you know what I mean so it's great to see that Nakamura came in as the huge star he is and he managed to accomplish one of the biggest things you know you can in WWE and I think that's just solidifying him as one of the greatest of all time AJ Styles as well is one of the best of all time. I love that he's the champion. He's WWE champion. A lot can happen between now and WrestleMania. How many times have we seen the title change hands between be, between WrestleMania and the Royal Rumble? But I don't think WWE is going to do that this time around. I think they know the big money match is Nakamura and AJ Styles. Wrestling around WWE has been changing quite a bit the past few years. And I think they've been struggling to adapt to what the modern wrestling fan wants. But Nakamura and AJ Styles is the match that a modern wrestling fan wants to see. And even if, and even if a, a more casual fan who isn't, you know, knowledgeable on the work that Nakamura did in New Japan or AJ Styles did in Impact Wrestling and New Japan, you know, they're going to see from that one match alone between the both of them, the Bumaye behind the back of the head from the top rope, <laughs> if you will. Uh, I think I think everyone's going to see on that night at WrestleMania how good these guys are. And I think it's going to I think it's going to be a big sea change. And I think it's going to show maybe a lot of other foreign talent, whether Japanese wrestlers, Mexican wrestlers, European wrestlers. I think it's going to show like, look, at Nakamura is going to. 
set the bar of what's possible uh, being an international superstar and nowadays how you can achieve you know probably the greatest heights you can ever could by coming to, to, to WWE so I'm very excited about that match if you can't already tell I'm very excited about this Nakamura call in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 and in WWF No Mercy. I hope you're excited as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think, any changes you made, any suggestions for future calls going forward. All the feedback, I love it. I love hearing from you. Uh, it's, it's always cool to see the response I get for these calls. 18 years later, I'm still playing this game and it's nice to know 18 years later, people are playing it and watching me play it as well. So send me all those comments. Let me know what you think. And yeah, that's Nakamura. Check out my other Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 calls. WWF No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000. My Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Let's Plays. My WWF No Mercy Let's Plays. All the stuff. You've been on YouTube before. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Be Better Gamer. Thank you for watching again. And until next time, keep watching all the wrestling. Yow!